episode of the BFS Wargaming. So today I'm going to be talking about, it's more in the series about stuff that uh, I think is a little bit wrong with 40k at the moment um, in 9th edition. Um, again, I'll say at the beginning of this video and I'll say at the beginning of every video, I love 9th edition. I just think there's a few things that they could tweak and I know they are trying and they don't want to over nerf things as well. So today's video on that topic is talking about the FAQ for the AdMech. So in that FAQ, they took the core keyword away from the Iron Star of Balistari and the Dragoons, also known as the Chickens. They put the stratagem where you could auto wound on fours to a five up and made it two CP if you've got over 10 models, um, which I think are good changes. Um, I still think it's very, very, very strong, um, but it does make it slightly better um, or slightly worse for Admech players. Um, then we had the stratagem where you could change your weapons to rapid fire two as changed to heavy three, um, which I'm not sure is a nerf or they just move sideways. I think they might have just moved sideways to be honest. Um, so it's, instead of being able to get 80 shots, you can get 60 shots, but you don't have to be in half range anymore. So it's pros and cons. Um, might even be a bit of a buff, I don't know. Uh, depending on how you play the army, I suppose, and maybe situational. Then we have the stratagem where you can auto-pass morale if you are within six inches of an objective. That is now once per game, rather than just being able to use it every turn, uh, which I think is uh, was much needed. And the other one was the... Uh, one of the dog martyrs, you can get plus one to your save if it's a damage one weapon, but you don't get that if you're already receiving the benefits of light cover. So, trying to make them slightly less durable. Now, um, what do I think about the FAQ? I think that they have made a very, 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 very small dent in something that is or as you can see from the win percentages in tournaments, is very, very, very strong. So taking the core away from the Iron Star of Balistari, which I think is a, is a, was a good move, definitely. It does decrease how efficient they are. I do still think they need, from the base model, a 10 points raise. I might be wrong. This is just what I think. And then as far as the all of the other... Um, FAQs or nerfs, shall we say, are to do with the Rangers and, and the Vanguard. And in my opinion, if you take them down to, I think these were definitely needed, and I still think they should be capped at 10. I think where you've got the, the problem here is where you've got 20 models, and there's so many things that can buff in the Admech Army. You're just putting buff and buff and buff and buff and buff onto this big squad of 20. And you can do so much damage with it, which is what is is breaking, I suppose, the Admech army and making it so good is because of the amount of buffs you can put on a, a squad of 20, which is exactly what Chaos used to do with the cultists until GW just stripped all of them away. Because if you could have only had a, a unit of 10 cultists, you would never have needed to change them rules because you're not going to be putting all them buffs on 10 cultists. But when you had 20 cultists, um, or you could just literally stick so much stuff on them and they would cause absolute chaos because they were chaos um, and that was the problem and that's where they became overpowered because there were such big units when you've got when you're able to take units of 20 like that you really need to be able to restrict the amount of buffs they can have if you are going to do that for instance Necron Warriors 20, 20 Warriors they've got some good weaponry but you're really restricted on how many buffs you can put on them. So it's not like they're gonna suddenly break the game because really it's like you can put them five up in on them, give them my will be done, and I think you can give them a cover save in one of the protocols for one turn. So they're still pretty easy to kill and they're not dealing horrendous amounts of damage. You know, they're good damage output, but not horrendous. Whereas when you've got 60 shots, that you can then increase the range, you can add minus one to the AP and all this, and you can be auto wounded on fours, you're reliably getting 40 wounds into something like Magnus. Like, it's pretty crazy. Um, 
I mean, let me know what you guys think. Do you think I'm uh, blowing this out of proportion? Do you think the, the new nerfs are fine and that's enough? I do think we should see where the land lies after these nerfs, because obviously you don't want to over nerf things, but this is just my opinion on what I think. You'd be quite, if you capped them at 10, you don't need any more nerfs. It wouldn't be a problem anymore. They'd have to have other stuff in the armies to then bring in that damage because you can only buff so many, so much stuff. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think there might be a points update around September time. This is my prediction. So we might be seeing a big points update across the board. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think and I'll see you in the next one. Stay lucky. Thanks. Bye.